guess who is finally going to Zanzibar? Welcome to another video. I am finally, 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 finally going to Zanzibar. So this video, I'm just going to show you my experience using the ferry from Dar es Salaam to that side. Enjoy. So once you collect your ticket, VIP or not, I must warn you, the rest of the process is the ghetto. So if you've been on a ferry from Dar es Salaam to Zanzibar, please do let me know in the comment section below how your experience was. Because for me, it was a little too chaotic, not enough order, and I really wasn't expecting all of that. After the checking in process and the baggage chaos, there's finally some calm and order in the waiting area. The Royal Class Ticket and the VIP have a separate room with comfortable chairs and aircon and a drink bar. So you can start your relaxation from here. This is random, but the gentleman in the denim short actually had my seat. He noticed my friend and I were together and obviously didn't want to sit apart. He totally offered to exchange seats. So if there's anything you take away from this video today, let it be this. Be kind. the way to my heart juice relatively okay minus my bag there'll be more room for a taller person but yeah this is it and the seat has also gone backwards so it's good slanting position to take a comfortable nap but obviously I'm not about to nap Let's go check out downstairs guys. Here there's a restaurant and okay so this is the VVIP section and then there's like a lower VIP I think outside here when I walk out you'll see. I think I've shown clip if I haven't already shown a little clips before this and then when we're entering so there was like two doors left and right so right side was I think equivalent to like the economy so let's go check out the restaurant because besides this little snack we don't have time to have breakfast i am actually hungry and that sounds so like really good it's like a i want more it was a really good starter so yeah
After the meal, towards the end of the trip, I went up to the top deck just to check it out, you know, see the view of the water and see really what's going on. I don't know which section this is called or what type of tickets if you're interested, but there were like a lot more people here and obviously you can get the fresh air. If you get seasick, this is probably the best place to come and stand and all of that and I got to see the boat coming to a stop. Hey guys checking in here again i am now at the hotel officially end of my ferry experience i don't know have, have you ever been on a ferry do you also get seasick yesterday i went to mbuja island and yo guys it wasn't easy it, it reminded me of my flight when i was coming from lusaka to malawi it was pretty bad but i didn't vomit i managed to contain everything for the ferry i really didn't get it because i think it was a bigger cargo and the aircon you wouldn't really feel it was just better i felt it for like a second but generally the whole experience was better and i even got to eat unlike yesterday i didn't get to eat until we arrived and you know like my nose just settled and everything but this one i did which was good so i can get to do something today because i don't feel bad that means you guys should stick around for my zanzibar vlog i'm really excited to visit this place you know so much i've heard so much and i've seen so much on the internet about zanzibar as you probably have so yeah like already here at the hotel i can already see you know the view of the water and the palm trees is just magical. Bye guys!